A world without sound can make learning about life harder. At the age of nine, Tony says severe hearing impairment was discovered, but it was never to slow him down. Last year, he was awarded the Quest for Excellence Scholarship of $15,000 by the National Foundation for the Deaf. This scholarship will assist him in studying for his master's degree at the University of Auckland's Bioengineering Institute. Well, um, the scholarship uh, will pay for my master's, and um, I'm also planning to use some of the money to buy some um, hearing aids, um, like accessories, or maybe just like maintain general maintenance that I have to pay for myself. Oh, it's about three kilometers now. Yeah. He's done a challenging degree in engineering. I think just putting him up against other people, he has um, stood out in front. Just, just on, I think, I think that independently, he's, he stood out in front of the pack. Well, we are working with artificial muscles, some rubbery stuff, putting a soft, uh, rather a flexible electrode on each side and applying a voltage across it. That makes it want to stretch out. The motor produces a very high torque for its weight. So um, basically, Tony is going to explore applications for this motor. He's going to develop it further for us. We're optimistic that artificial muscles over in the, in the, in the near future will be a transformational technology that will um, change a lot of things we, we use and do. Because I have a hearing disability myself, I was like, oh, maybe I can use that to make um, you know, artificial limbs. And, or, or some sort of assistive device to um, help people who, who need that. Tony's achievement is the result of years of personal effort with much support from his family. Um, I got uh, hearing aids, um, which is sort of like funded by, by the government. Um, so that helped me learn a little bit in class. Um, also, I tend to, so behavior-wise, so I try to sit in front of class. Um, that just made it easier for me to hear the teachers. Like most parents, we worried, we worried about his difficulties in learning, his difficulties in participating in the society, his feeling, his own feeling about loneliness, anxiety, and isolation. He still attend the mainstream school, but uh, most uh, afternoon after school, we spend about an hour teaching him English, mathematics, science. This uh, continued for about three years. Tony is not completely deaf, so he never had to learn sign language. As for me, like I sort of learned to um, lip read. Like it, I haven't learned it officially, but. It sort of like just come as a uh, second instant for me. Um, so other than like saying hearing uh, with hearing aids, uh, I tend to look at people and try to figure out what they say. Tony's hobbies are varied. He likes reading, playing the violin, and taking part in sports. So uh, yeah, so I, I kind of go for more um, individual or personal challenge uh, activities like um, tennis, running, and uh, even rock climbing. Uh, I really enjoy those. Uh, they really challenge me sort of like mentally and uh, physically as well. But I mean, it doesn't, it didn't stop me from doing things. I mean, I still tried it out and stuff. But he's a very positive attitude. He is the one that never blaming and never ask why this happened to him. It seems he just keep it in, maybe he keep in his heart, but he never blaming. Uh, very positive. He just go ahead, move forward. Tony aims to continue developing man-made muscles. His ultimate goal is to one day make an artificial limb, which could help climb even this wall.